How much should you charge per hour in your landscaping business? And how much should you charge per day? We're gonna talk about all that right now. What's up, I'm Keith Kelfus, and I talk about how to start a landscape business and get it from zero to 100K and beyond. And in this video, it's a Q&A. I'm really excited because how much you should charge per hour really depends on you and your business. About $78 per hour per man hour per billable man hour, what does that mean? Let's talk about it. If you are working eight to 10 hours a day from port to port, that means from the time you start the truck and leave the time you're back to home base, how many of those hours are you actually spending on the customer's property where it's what we call billable hours? You can't charge the customer for driving all over the place, but you might work it into your quote to even everything out. You gotta decide what works for you, but for how much time you're actually spending on the job site, could be three, four, five, six hours on the actual job site, those are billable hours. So. It could be 74 or 78 or 85 or $100 per man hour, depending on the industry, the specialty, what where you're at in the country, what you believe your expertise is, what the market can bear. Like all that stuff really matters. And I think that you should really start to track your numbers and test pricing because that's very important in business and marketing and find out what percentage of the customers are saying yes and, and kind of relay that also uh, an equivalent to your, your sales presentation. How good are you at marketing and advertising your business and talking on the phone? How good are you at selling and presenting to the customers where they feel like, wow, I really want you to do my lawn or landscaping or whatever type of service you're offering. And then start to, now you never tell your customer how much you're actually charging per hour unless they ask. I like to charge per project, whether we, we have a $700 minimum we're testing this year in my landscaping business. I might lower it to 500, I might raise it to a grand, but if 700 is working right now, yours, it might be a $50 minimum. It might be a $2,000 minimum. So those two things are very important to dial in your business because if more than 50% of the customers are saying no, <laughs> like your closing ratio is 50% and you're not really closing a lot. Let's say you're only closing two out of every 10 quotes. Either something is messed up with your attitude or your beliefs or the way you're coming across to the customer in your sales presentation, because you're not really presenting much sometimes. You're kind of just being there of service to the customers. But what I'm saying is that if too many people are saying no, your price might be too high. But and then if way too many people are saying yes, either you're amazing at sales, some people really are or your prices are like too low. Does this make sense? So figure that out for you and how much should you charge per day? Now, real quick, let's just say you're charging $65 per man hour, which if you're fully licensed, insured on payroll and uh, taxes and, and workers comp and, uh, and uh, general liability insurance and you can afford to actually go into the equipment shop when something breaks down and just buy a new backpack blower and buy a new weed whipper edger or put money down on a mower or whatever like it just isn't it doesn't financially phase you you got good money coming in I think you should really get yourself into that position where you don't care about the price of gas or any of that stuff and make sure your prices reflect a business that's elf I learned this from Dan Sullivan. Easy, lucrative, and fun. Like you want your, your business to be fun. And if you're not, if you're all stressed out, scrambling from customer to customer, uh, you're probably not charging enough. And it takes time to get there. It's okay if you're newer in your business and you feel that way. That's all part of the healthy psychology and building grit and backbone and muscle to two to three years in the business. You're like, you've upgraded your whole identity and now you're not the same. And these customers that you got a few years ago when you first got started might not even be a good fit for you anymore. You always gotta, gotta get in how you fit in and level up. Now, how much, how much should you charge per day? Um, I have a couple announcements too I wanna share with you real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna share those announcements right now and then I'm gonna tell you how much to charge per day because this is really upgraded my business. So, uh, I'm going to the Equip Expo in Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, every single year, October 17th through 20th this year. I'll be there, and I'm going to be at the Jobber booth, and you can come and see me. You can also learn more about this on Instagram at Keith Kelfis. I want you to take your phone out and put this in your calendar and screenshot this real quick. They sent me this cool swag. I'm doing a meet and greet Wednesday, October 18th from 3 to 4 p.m. at the Jobber booth, booth number 21098 at the Louisville Kentucky Exposition Center. And come and see me, put that in your calendar, come and see me. All right, take out your phone, screenshot this, and put it on your calendar. I'm doing another meet and greet and free swag giveaway at the Xmark booth, Thursday, October 19th at 1 p.m., booth number 7080. Come and see me, put that in your calendar.
And one other thing is I'm coming out with a new book soon. It'll be on Amazon, on Audible. You can buy the paperback book or you can listen to it on audible.com. The book's almost done. We're just going through and make sure it's all super clean. There's no misspellings, everything, the artwork, the graphics, everything is primo. All right, keithkelfis.com. You'll learn more about this on my podcast, The Untrapped Podcast with Keith Kelfis on all platforms, and all platforms. Platforms. How much should you charge per day? Oh, how many people do you have working with you? Are you working or are you doing what I do in my business? Either I'm in the office running the business or I'm doing sales or I'm sitting in the truck a lot of the time running the business and I only work a little bit on the actual job sites, right? So how much are you charging for? Let's say you got two guys on a job site working eight hours. Well, what's the man hour rate? Let's figure it out right now. $78 an hour times two is $156, $156 per hour, and let's say they're only working six hours times six, $936 a day. So you could say $800 or a grand or $1,200. My day rate to have two guys working on a job, and I'm there too, So and I get out and I'll work, like I'll do create some ornamental tree trimming, or I'll help them clean up, or I'm talking to the customers, or giving neighbors quotes and stuff, like it's $1,200 plus the price of debris removal. And sometimes, depending on the job, if it's not too meticulous, I'll include the debris removal right in there. If it's just one big heaping pack dump trailer load, and we don't have to make multiple trips, the first load will be free. 1200 bucks, whole property trim package, if we can get in and out in a day, my two guys, and I'll show up and you know I'll be I'll be there but I won't be working the whole time if I'm working the whole time it's gonna be more but it's like it's 1200 bucks so you and one other guy might be 1200 or a grand figure out what works best for you and start pitching it to the customers how how this works with me is I'll be on the property with the customer and they got bushes they got ornamental trees when I say ornamental I mean you don't have to climb them and stuff you can do it from the ground right uh, you don't want to be climbing trees unless you're properly licensed, insured, and trained and have all that, that stuff, right? But I'll be like, customer, you got all the stuff that needs to be trimmed, weeds need to be pulled and everything. We'll do everything except for mulch for 1200 bucks. Or it could be 2500. We do whole property trim packages for 3500 bucks. So how much did you charge per day? Really equals out to do all the math of where you want your business to be and how much you want to make at the end of the year and how much you want to have in the bank and how much you want to have Christmas presents under the tree. <laughs> and then break this number down to say, you know what? I'm going to start offering my customer a thousand bucks for a whole day. I'll come there with my two guys or my one guy, whatever it is, and, and we'll, we'll, we will make it rain. Now, if it goes into a day and a half, does that still count in the one day? If you told the customer it was only going to take a day, I think if you told the customer it's only going to take a day and you told them it was going to be 1200 bucks, you better come that extra half a day and eat it. But if you tell the customer we will work nonstop except for our lunch break and you'll probably get a good seven hours out of us and if it runs us into the next day, it'll be another 600 bucks for a half day. So if we can come in for you know three hours the next day and be done by noon, it's going to be an extra 600, which is going to run you into, I'm sorry, if it's a grand, it's going to be an extra 500 you know, half that, it'll be 1500 bucks and we'll cover the price. Like start, start just doing this stuff and throw it out there. And the customer sometimes will be like, ah, that sounds fair. And then halfway, but here's the next thing I want to remind you. How much did you charge per day? You can get stuck in this. I've been stuck in this. I made videos about this. I'll put some in the link, uh, links below. When you do these type of package or day rate deals, you got to get super specific with the customer verbally and in the quote saying, we will like, trim all the stuff all the way down to the size of my pinky or we will pull all the weeds all the way down until it's just like we're gonna leave all like we'll pull all the big stuff and we'll get all the big stuff off all the bulk but we're not gonna get the little tiny stuff like if you want that then we're gonna have to come that's that's an extra five hours at you know a hundred and fifty dollars an hour for two guys or whatever your price is like if you want us to go through with a fine tooth comb so I always give them three options like the bulk the much cleaner, like good, better, best. The, we'll, we'll just get all the bulk out of there or we'll do better. Or with best is we'll go through this with a fine tooth comb and we'll get everything like primo. But it takes t literally twice as long to get that extra 10%. What do you want customer? I'm here to serve you. I want to do what you want to do. It's like, think about that. So before you promise the customer something amazing for a price, you better be very careful about that, that you're inspecting what they expect and you're clarifying the expectations like I've even gone and I got, I'll get a shovel or get some shrub trimmers or I'll, I'll do an area for free just a small area right in front of them in their garden beds I like, see we'll get all this big stuff but all that little tiny stuff like 
we can't go in there and in, with our fingertips digging like, I, I don't say this, but I'm trying to insinuate to the customer and give them an example. If the customer wants their shrubs trimmed, their crazy overgrown up burning bush shrubs, I'm like, all right, we could take about like six to eight inches off or I could take like 15 inches to two feet off. I mean, we could cut these mugs in half and they'll grow back because they're burning bushes. It's different pricing, but how far do you want me to go? And uh, I might take the shrub trimmers out and just like <laughs> cut into their shrubs. And they're like, actually, yeah, I like that. Okay, now I get a better idea of what you want. So when you promise something, just get, get more clear with the customer. So how much did you charge per hour? I don't know, $78 per billable man hour? Some people in the comments are gonna be like, no way, you're going bankrupt, it's gotta be 100. Okay, I go tr go try $100 per man hour. It might work perfectly for you where you're at, right? And, the, and by next year, uh, these prices are always changing. I look at videos that I made a few years ago and oh my God, I was charging that. Well, of course, before of all the inflation, we could charge that much. Right now we have to charge more. Everything has gone up, right? And then what should you charge per day? I know at least a grand a day for two guys if you're coming out there literally all day and taking away an entire load of stuff. Um, I wouldn't go any lower than 800 bucks. Uh, if you wanna run an above board business, which you should, because uh, you have all those extra overhead costs. All right, what's up? I'm Keith Kelfis. Thanks for watching my videos. Check out my podcast. My new book coming out soon. I'll see you at the Equip Expo, at the Jobber booth, and at the Xmark booth. Learn more on Instagram at Keith Kelfis, and I wish you all the best of success.